and food sovereignty is the democratization of the food system. This means that everybody, every one of us, needs to take responsibility. And uh, it means also that there is not just one solution, a model that fits all. It means that we have to get together and to use our creativity, to use the culture, the local knowledge that is still there, and to build the food system for feeding the people from the bottom up all together. The current struggle for food sovereignty in the Philippines it's a fight against land grabbers, big landlords who take away the land of the peasants and indigenous peoples. It is also a struggle against Monsanto, Seneca, Syngenta and other such corporations that steal the farmers' seed varieties and render the farmers dependent on GM, genetically manipulated varieties. To generate a vibrant society, we need a balanced society. And there, a peoples with the right to food, the right to produce food, the right to maintain a, a healthy environment. And in that respect, small family farms are indispensable. It is the small family farmers of the world who feed the world 70% of the food it is produced locally. No, but it's great to have retraced the steps, you know, for people who walked here in 1849. And last year, uh, Michael uh, opened the gates of Delphi Lodge and, and welcomed the walkers in. And this year, I think it's hugely significant and very historic that we're going to unveil a memorial to the people who died on that walk and to all the people who died in the famine and to remember people who are dying in the famine today. <clears throat> At home they say that uh, when the rains come it washes away the footsteps of the dead. Those people that used to walk on the earth, it takes them away. That's what they say. But yet it doesn't take away their memories or the feelings that we have in our hearts for them. We remember them, we can take that memory and go forward with it in the future and do something about it. Mm -hmm.